Hey what's going on guys, it's Tom here, back today with another video. I'm back today with the series that I started the other day. The other day I covered the XM8 as a Black Ops 2 weapon. Today I'm going to be covering another weapon and today we're going to be looking at the AN94. So a few of you guys may have seen this in the trailer. You can see the pictures from the trailer on the right. It looks very similar to the AK-47 and it is a very similar gun to it but we haven't actually seen the AN94 in the Call of Duty series before. So it is of course an assault rifle. It actually comes with two variants. It comes with a fully automatic variant and also a burst fire variant. And it's actually really strange because typically when we have burst fire guns, we think of the M16, stuff like that, has a three round burst, but this only actually has a two round burst. It was designed in the 1980s all the way up until 1994 when it was first put in production, hence the name AN94. Its manufacturer was Izmash, the pretty famous Russian manufacturer that pretty much produced all the AK-47s that are in the world. The rate of fire on the fully automatic variant, the variant that I'm saying we're probably going to be seeing in the game is around 600 rounds per minute, pretty typical for the AK-47. It always has quite a low fire rate but it's pretty high damage in the game. On the burst fire variant it can actually fire up but it's at 1800 rounds per minute and that's just within the two rounds that it bursts out. Doing some research on this gun, it's actually really quite cool. Some of the things it can do is that it can actually delay the recoil until the round has actually left the barrel. So, so basically that just means it's a way to reduce recoil because I know there's quite a lot of upward recoil with the AK-47. So that would be pretty cool if they integrated that into the game. Finally we have the ammo that it comes with and it typically comes with either a 30 or 45 round detachable box magazine. Typically we're probably going to see this in game as kind of the standard 30 round detachable box magazine and then probably 45 rounds when you stick extended mags on it. So there we go guys, the second gun in this series, the AN-94. If you enjoyed this video and you're looking forward to using the AN-94, make sure you leave a like and a favourite. It really helps me out and I'm trying to get this series out there as much as possible. Apart from that guys, make sure you check out the other guns I've covered. I've actually got a playlist on screen right now. You can check that out by clicking the annotation on the left and also be sure to check out some of my previous videos. They will be on the right. So I just want to say a big thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you again with another video very soon.